All right, so my question here, if I've got 13 threads per inch, uh, is, and I'm gonna put a uh, wrench on this and turn it one full rotation to 360 degrees, how much linear distance is that gonna move that thread? What we were, so again, we're translating this rotational motion into our linear distance. There we go, and to determine that, we have to divide our pitch. So we will take one divided by 13. Uh, let me get my calculator out, but it's gonna be around 77 thousandths of an inch. So if you divide one divided by 13, uh, we see that uh, for one full revolution of the wrench, we are going to be 0 0.0769 are roughly equivalent to 77 thousandths of an inch. So 77 thousandths of an inch there in machina speak. So that means if I wanted to make sure that I needed to move that three quarters of an inch, well, basically I'm gonna divide three quarters by 0 0.077 to move the screw three quarters of an inch deep into a part that it's mating with, uh, I'm going to have to turn it roughly 10 times. Turn that wrench roughly 10 times. Basically how I got that was three quarter point seven five zero divided by uh, my point zero seven seven. That's how much I move with one full rotation. Uh, gives me nine point seven four, and I'm just going to round that up to ten turns and get a little bit neater here. Ten turns of my wrench. And this is how we can translate rotational mo motion or rotational movement of the screw into linear motion as well. And you'll see that common throughout industry and with different machines where we're using the screw. Typically it's called a ball screw uh, to make and move linear motion uh, with the rotational motion of the screw. Thanks for watching.